So on the last usage that we are going to discuss is we are going to talk about a special attribute called ping and why exactly we are going to use that. Okay. So let's say that you have a website and there is a link and you want to know like, you know, how many users of your website have clicked on that particular link. So that you know like what is the uh, kind of user count who are actually interested in this link and that helps you in your business you know uh, growth or business indication so to do that native html anchor tag provides an attribute called ping so what you can do in the ping attribute value you can actually provide an url and on this url whenever you whenever you click on the regular you know link on this particular url a post call is made by default, it's automatically made by the browser. And if you have an implementation of the post call, what you can do is basically you can gather that information like, okay, a new call has come, so increment the count by one or do something at the back end basically based on that call, right? So it's all happened automatically. You just need to implement at your server side a post call implementation of this ping call, right? So let's see that with an example. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll first create an anchor as usual. So we'll have a href and let's go to say https uh, example.com and we'll open it in a new tab. So target equals to underscore blank and then we will have something called ping and in this ping one you can actually tell that which URL this post call should be, should be made. So example.com say slash ping. Let's assume. And if you have to make it for to the multiple URLs, you can actually specify multiple URLs, you know, separated by a space. But I'm just doing it for one for now. And then, you know, you have this slash a complete, and you say here uh, my site, something like this, right? So it's a regular uh, link, but you also have a ping attribute saying that whenever somebody click on this link. Please make a post call on this particular URL. Now, if you have a service running on this URL and uh, it's actually doing something, you can actually do a lot of operations based on that. And this name ping can be anything. It can be tracking. Usually, you know, people say like this is like tracking, you know, click tracking. So, all right. So we'll go and see like how it works. Uh, for this purpose, I'll open up uh, the dev tools because what we're going to do, we are going to uh, see the network calls and see like how the calls have been made. All right. So but I'll first click on this my site and it is supposed to open example.com as usual. So example.com is going to open, but I'll go back to the source site. And do you see this tracking call here? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. It is saying 404 because I don't have a server set implementation for this here. If, we, if I had that, I would have got 200. So great. This is a tracking call. Now I click on this. And as I click on this, I'm going to see certain values which are useful. So first thing first that I'm going to see is like it's a post call. So request method is post. And the payload, the only thing that is saying is a four letter word called ping, P-I-N-G, that's all. So the server side, as and when you get a P-I-N-G as a, you know, payload, you can increment the value in your database by one or do something so that, you know, you know that there is a, there is a new tracking request has come. And then one more thing that I want to kind of show you over here is like, um, yes, this path is, you see here, it's like slash tracking that we have given. And then that's pretty much it, uh, I guess. You can also notice this ping from and the ping to attributes, you know, those are also will be useful. So that's all about the ping. Um, you know, we, we always have this Google Analytics and all other analytics tool, but something that you want to do homegrown and want to try out something very lightweight. So ping is a handy option for it. Okay. So that's conclude the usage number 10. I hope you enjoyed watching all the usages of HTML anchor link. Thank you very much.